So let's talk a little bit more for a second. This one's gonna be real quick. Let's see, I do the videos and then I fucking forget shit. And then I gotta come back and I gotta do another video. It's cold today. We've been having like 70, 80 degrees for like the last week and a half, two weeks. Sure it's really like 50 a day. Now, yeah. kind of lazy today. It's cold and I don't feel like doing too much today. I probably should do. I should probably do some cleaning and stuff. I gotta redo that glass work. Anyway. Uh, other ways to incorporate things into your daily thing is just live it just live it man and that that'll elevate your spirit so much more um as i said in a previous video you can do do it when you're cooking you can incorporate into that you can incorporate your spirits into your morning coffee uh you can incorporate them in your meals as i said in previous videos they always get the first serving without salt uh, when you're cleaning your house, when you're cleaning your house, you can uh, incorporate your work into that too. In fact, you should. I don't know why people don't do that. That should be a, at least a monthly thing, if not weekly thing. How often do you clean your house? How often do you sweep and mop your floor? Why can't you do a floor wash? Instead of using spick and span or some fucking shit on your floor. Make a magical cleansing floor wash. A banishing evil floor wash. A remove negativity floor wash. An uncrossing floor wash. And wash your floor with that. And use it as your cleaning product. Uh, instead of, like I said, instead of using spick and span or kaboom or awesome or whatever the hell you're spraying in that bottle cleaning shit with make a floor wash and clean your house with that and do it in a ritual fashion and incorporate that into your weekly routine your daily life um it's not hard people when you take when you take a bath or even just taking a shower you don't even gotta take it i mean virtual baths are wonderful cleansing baths and stuff should be done often but you have people this is what they make the soaps for okay you got ritual soaps spiritual soaps when you take your shower in the morning you don't got to take a bath when you take your shower use the spiritual soap and cleanse yourself in a ritual way and for those of you that don't know how to do that uh the general rule is if uh when you're bathing if you are trying to get rid of something um if you're removing negativity if you're doing an uncrossing something like something you're trying to get rid of you it's general to wash from head to toe you do it in a downward uh, everything's in a downward motion so you would start with your head and you're gonna wash down your face wash down when you do your arms you're gonna wash it you're gonna wash down and do your palms and wash down and you're gonna do that through your whole body you're gonna wash it down wash it off get it off of you and do not neglect your feet and the soles of your feet wash that down and wash off um, and then you're gonna like rinse yourself off and let the water run down. I, I have things, you know, you say a prayer or whatever you want to say while you're doing it. Now, when I say say prayers, I'm not talking psalms, okay? Because I mean, you can use psalms, of course, but I personally don't use psalms. When I say prayers, I'm just talking about something I say. <laughs> <laughs> like a ritualized statement that I say personally, I guess you would call that a prayer. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, so, and the opposite would be true if you want to bring something in. 
if you're bringing in good luck, if you want to bring in money, if you want to bring in love, if you're doing a bath to bring something to you, road opening, um, you want to wash up, you want to wash from toe to head, okay, and everything is going to be in a up, up motion, you wash up, up, you wash your body in an up motion and bring it up to you instead of washing down to get something off of you. Um, and depending, usually when you do a ritual bath, now this isn't necessarily true for a shower, if you're doing a, if you're just using a soap, you know, like a, like a ritual soap, and you're just doing like a quick shower. Um, well, why not? When I do my showers daily, you know, I, I use the Van Van soap, I'll use black soap, uh, all that stuff. I, I don't bathe with like normal soap ever. Why not make a ritual out of everything you do? Why not bring spirit into every normal, normal daily things? Why not bring spirit into it? Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so if you're doing like a ritual bath, a bath now, not a shower, a bath where you do your herbs. Oh, and a little hint for you guys. If you're doing a ritual bath, and you know, you got your herbs and all your shit you want to put in your bath, don't just throw them in your bathtub and jump in there because when you drain your tub, you're going to have a hell of a mess to clean up. Man, you're gonna, it's just going to be a fucking mess. And who wants to deal with that shit after you just took a cleansing bath, right? You don't want to clean up this fucking mess. Little trick, uh, you get a little pot and um, you put that shit on your stove, put some water in it, and boil your herbs. Put all your herbs into it and boil your herbs in five, ten minutes. Get a jar and put some cheesecloth or some shit over top of the jar and you strain the water into the jar so you catch the herbs in the cloth. Okay, so you just have herb water <laughs> with no herbs in it, basically. And you put that in your bath and then you add your, you know, if you're using spiritual waters like Florida water, indigo water, holy water, that shit, you add that directly to the bath water because there's no herbs in it. But yeah, why dump all that shit in your tub? Why make a huge mess? Um, some, some traditions do baths not in a tub. Like, they will do them standing in a place. Like, like standing. Um, sometimes outside, sometimes in a basement. <laughs> uh, stuff like that. And, and that's generally just done with a bucket that has everything in it and it just gets poured over you that's a different kind of of spiritual bath that's more like a ritual being done um but the general rule is when you take a spiritual bath now i'm not talking shower that you would do like daily with just a soap i'm talking a bath that you do where you've done your herbs and your waters and you know and i will personally i try and do one every, at least one a week a cleansing remove negativity kind of bath uh i will light candles i it's customary to do at least one candle at your head and one candle at your feet so when you're laying in the tub you got one candle at your head you got one candle at your feet and sometimes i'll do like four i'll put two at the feet two at two at the head and uh i'll turn all the lights off i'll put i'll have like my mp3 player in there and i will put some uh, like protective chanting music on or something, some ritual music, and I'll soak in there for a long time, and I'll say my prayers, and I'll do my, my washing, and all that, and then when you get out of the bath, uh, it is highly recommended and customary to reserve some of that bath water. You get a jar, a cup, something, and you scoop a, a glass or a jar of that water before you drain the tub okay and depending on what you did the cleansing for you might not dry off you might uh um have to let yourself air dry okay and it, not with you know don't dry yourself off with a towel you just kind of stand around until you're dry 
and then it's customary especially if you're doing a cleansing bath or an uncrossing bath you or even if like I always do a bath before I do work before I'm gonna do any kind of work I do a cleansing and a protective bath and then let myself air dry and then I put my whites on uh, and you this is something you would want to do if you're just doing an uncrossing cleansing bath as well you want to put white on and when you're cleansing everything should be white your candles should be white your washcloth should be white uh, if you if you are drying off with a towel your towel should be white and if you choose to dry off with a towel again it's downward off motion you dry down down um, to get it off of you if you're if it's a bath to bring something in you dry up the same way as you bathe yourself you would dry yourself um, but some things you do you wouldn't dry yourself you would air, let yourself air dry so you're not like wiping everything off of you <laughs> that you just did um, especially if it's something for like protection or something you don't want to wipe that off so you let yourself air dry and then you put your whites on and then depending on what you if, if, if I'm doing work you know I'll come out and do my work and my whites uh, and I, I will usually sleep in my whites and if I'm doing something like that I will change the, the sheets on the bed and make sure I have white sheets on the bed you want to sleep in white sheets especially if it's for an uncrossing or a protection uh, you want to sleep in white white clothes and you want to sleep in white sheets um so yeah that's just an, uh another uh, just more ways you can incorporate everything in, into your into your daily life i mean try it if you want to if you want this life you know if you want to if you want to be it you you got to do it uh you got to live it you know i don't know any other way to explain it so yeah like subscribe and share